that's the whole scheme. Uh, hopefully, this is going to be delivered in the next three, four weeks. Wow. All right. So it's already been ordered for three weeks, and they said since eight weeks. So uh, it'll be coming in, and I hope it comes in because we had a sign. If you look at that, it says this was put in in July of 2011. We already changed it to August. Uh, I hope it doesn't wind up where we're putting this thing up in September, but what the heck. <laughs> <laughs> the target date is August 15th. So I hope that. And uh, Mike Leslie said, uh, with your permission, to be thrilled with that to help us put this thing in. Uh, and I'm really not sure of the mounting. I'm assuming, and from what I understand, it's going to be like two posts in the ground into concrete, and then it's going to be mounted on top of those two posts. Well, our guys, obviously, <coughs> all the work they've done around here the last two years. The first sidewalks and all that stuff. We've got some talented people. I'm sure we'll be able to help you out. Yeah. And then um, we have, uh, when we finish paying for this, we'll have a couple of bucks left over. I want to be able to talk to the garden and bloom or people who, who might want to, if they want to, we probably have enough money to be able to landscape it somehow or another, you know, make it look a, a little bit more attractive. Uh, what they would come up with would be up to them almost, you know, if they'd be willing to do it. I think it's a great concept. Uh, uh, I'm speaking for myself. I'm in support of it. Um, are you looking for uh, just, just approval? Yeah, 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 go ahead. Yeah, put, yeah, it, put it up there, you know. Do you want to see it? Look close to see some of the things. I would love to see which film you think. Yeah. Yeah. And I'll uh, tell you what, we had some art. I'll bet you did. <laughs> I will bet you did. Yeah. But this is based on, and, and we'll tell you, it's based on the Ocean Park District. Well, we'd like, like to do it in the next um, Which month before it comes in to try up an exact location, and then we can design the footings and the layout of the brick papers that you would stand on to look at it. We don't want it right on the sidewalk so that right. you're standing on the sidewalk. We want it so you can walk off the sidewalk and look at it. And meaning, I, I love the idea. I love the idea, but I think we have to contact the insurance about placement or something like this. It's going to be that far off the ground. You can just have to notify them. And it's going to be like where John Lipinski's stall is for the farmer's market. So you're going to have to tell them. If the board is in support of this, maybe we can approve it tonight pending um, insurance approval? Yeah, I think you, you have to notify them. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Is that the direction we're going to go in? Sounds good to me. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay. Get your suit. So in that case, I'll ask a motion to approve the concept of uh, the insurance So moved. Second. Second. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Well, motion carries in. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, thank you. You're welcome. Thank, thank you. you. Let us know um, how you have the first time said that. I can see the first time you said that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 When we get out, I, I assume we're going to have a little ceremony. Or I would love to. Yeah, I would love to. Oh, I love to. Yeah, sure. I would think, you know. Uh, and again, we'll coordinate with you when it comes in, and then when Mike can get that, to putting it up, you know, and we get the papers and whatever we put in, and then, uh, yeah, sure, you know, so even if we, that goes into the service or something. Right. Okay. Well, thanks for making change. Do we need any input from us to uh, help explain the process? But no, I'll tell you what, you've already been a big help. Your approval and the uh, authorization that Mike has to do it. Okay. Okay. And then this is the whole bicentennial committee because all the funds were raised that were raised were raised through all of the events, not just um, one or two. So the event would include an invitation to everybody. Sure. Okay. This is for your information is about eleven thousand two hundred pounds. Sounds good. Look great. Thank you. The other thing is a couple of uh, about it was almost a year ago, I guess now. I mentioned the Star District Science. Yeah. These are, I went all over the county. With all the historic districts in the county, there are very few that actually have signs. You can test these around. This is what they would generally look like. Um, and here's where they have signs for individual buildings that were designed the same way, but they don't have one for the historic district and all these buildings in it. So that's what they would 
are interested in getting involved in this, um, you know, the more the merrier. So. All right, wonderful. Uh, next, we have a communication regarding uh, history closure. Dear Ms. Strobel, we are at the we at the Ocean Public Library and Historical Society respectfully request the closure of Hill Street adjacent to the library on the night of Saturday, July 23rd between the hours of 5 and 9 p.m. to ensure the safety of the public for our annual Big Band concert and ice cream social event. Sincerely, Matt Cohen, Director. We have some comments from the Chief on there. DPW will leave the barricade. They will be responsible for putting it up and taking it down um, the patrol and the patrols will check it. So the Chief's in favor with that. Make, even though it's a work session, to make it so it's in time for these guys, we need to approve this tonight. <laughs> okay. Um, with that, I'll, I'll ask for uh, if there's any comments on this. You want to uh, press 10 seconds? Well, yes, for comments first. Oh, all right. No, I didn't make it. Yeah. I got away here. It's yeah. always a lot of fun. It's, it's really no issues with it at all. And they don't, and I think this is the perfect example. He has patrols, the chief goes down, but the patrols will just check on it. It's sure. not going to cost them anything additional for, you know, because we want to be cooperating. I doubt there's a great problem. I doubt it. I doubt it. I just wanted to point out that we're willing to work with special. Most of the people that are down there are my age or older. Giving the item great. No overtime or anything like that, so it's not going to any extra cost. Very good. So, all right, um, I'll ask for someone to make a motion to approve this. Second. Second. Any further discussion? All in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. Okay, motion carries. Thank you, Stephen, in the back. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, we were going to have an executive session before voting on this, but just so the public doesn't have to wait through an executive session and then we do business afterwards, I'm going to bump that up just to uh, go easier for everyone that's here. Um, tonight we're going to be voting on updated contract for the stock power mediation. Um, I don't know David comes out, but basically, you know, we stopped work on the project to get our funding in order, and during that stop period, we've been looking at alternate sites to bring the material, um, and looking at basically any other alternative to bring the cost down. We've been looking high and low for ways to uh, save money. We budgeted up to $10 million for this project, and that was what our sewer rate increase was based on, um, a portion of it anyway. But we were hoping to find a mechanism to bring that cost down, and so hopefully in the future, not necessarily this year, but in future years, be able to lower those rates. Um, and I'm happy to say that we found um, an alternative. Um, and uh, I'll open up to questions. This, but essentially, we've been getting a lot of different solicitations from different companies that think they could move the dirt for cheaper than our current contractor. We've had Cornerstone look into a lot of those, and the reality is that there's no magic bullet that has come our way. Um, however, because we've had some offers that were similar to what uh, CJ and SD was charging us, we have in our contract that he needs to be moving the dirt at commercially reasonable rates. So in order to stay commercially reasonable, he was able to match those other costs, those other um, proposals that we were receiving. So the co original contract that stated that a certain part of the material was going to be used as alternate daily cover and the rest was going to be taken as just regular commercial waste and the commercial waste is going to be 96 a ton, and the uh, remainder was going to be at 71 a ton. The after uh, our rates, CGNSD has said that he will take everything at $70 a ton, plus a $2 equipment surcharge for his equipment. So we're getting the entire entire pile moved at $72 a ton. Um, alternate daily cover material, no, no, alternate daily cover material, and that'll bring the final phase of the project not at the five million which we had originally anticipated, but of What's that? Ten total. Well, right, but for the second half, yeah, so yeah. it's going to be up to five million. Um, it's going to be around three million six hundred six hundred thousand. So we potentially saved about one point four million dollars. So we're very happy about this. Um, normally, we don't vote on contracts and work sessions, but because we don't want to waste any more time, we want to get to work on this because it is a priority for this village. Um, we plan on voting on that tonight. Um, so that's my little summary, David. Is there anything you want to add to that before we move the discussion? Uh, no, I really don't. I think it's, I think it's a lot of time has been spent, um, and now it's time to stop over and time to get back to work. Absolutely. Any um, any questions or comments from the board before we uh, before we ask for motion? I only have one question, and and my question was that the village would be involved in any 
uh, if there, we run into any problems, that we would be intimately involved in the selection of where it goes and uh, any price that would be paid for any gossip in situation that might arise. I wanted us to have, be equipped with that power. Absolutely. One of the things that I told David was non-negotiable to have in this uh, new contract was that if a cheaper area to take the material does come up, if a new landfill has to close um, in the near future, and this project is ongoing, we reserve the right to sit down with CJ Nesty and say, look, there's another alternative just to make your money, but we need to move it there, and the overhead is going to be decreased a lot. We had that right. So Good. Yeah, that that was, was my concern. Right. And that was something that we didn't have initially, so I think it's Better. a major thing to have in here. Yeah. And, um, you know, if, if that does, we'll save even more money. But right now, standing the way things are, it looks like we're saving about $1.4 million. So uh, I'm very happy about this. Uh, Mr. Nesty has been negotiating with us in good faith, and he was able to meet um, you know, other offers that had come in. With that, uh, I'll ask for a motion to approve the new contract. So move. I'll ask for a second. Second. All right, any discussion? All right, first, read through the resolution. Whereas the village of Goshen, here and after, the village has heretofore entered into an agreement with CJ Nesty Materials, here and after Nesty, for the purpose of disposing of certain materials stockpiled on village owned property as it is reflected in a certain agreement dated December 14, 2010, as amended by a certain addendum, addendum dated February 1st, 2011, which agreement and addendum were heretofore authorized by duly adopted resolutions of the board, and whereas, pursuant to the following, Nesty commits removal of the material stockpiled and delivered said material to Middlesex County Landfill, here and after MCLF, for use as ultimate daily cover, here and after ADC, and whereas Nesty Materials has heretofore removed 71,000 tons of material and delivered same to MCLF, and whereas, to assist in the disposal of the stockpile material, Village of Goshen did enlist the services of Cornerstone Environmental Group, LLC, here and after referred to as Cornerstone, and whereas Cornerstone did make, prepare, and deliver an estimate to the village indicating that approximately 78,000 tons of material were stockpiled on site and were in need of disposal, and whereas Cornerstone no estimates that approximately 50,000 tons of material remain to be disposed of, and whereas <coughs> MCLF has stated it will no longer accept any of the remaining material for use as alternate daily cover, thereby necessitating the identification of an alternate facility for the disposal of stockpile material, and whereas Cornerstone has now identified two alternate locations that will accept the material stockpiled to whip the Warren County Landfill, WCLF, and the Hackensack Meadowlands District Commission Landfill, HD, HMDC, and whereas the pricing set forth the original agreement between the village and Nesty as amended, now requires further amendment to reflect the alternate destinations of the stockpile material, and now for here, therefore it is hereby resolved that the existing contract price of $70.61 <coughs> per ton for loading, transportation, and reuse of stockpile material, as well as the existing price of six, $96.40, $96.40, the loading, transportation, disposal of non-hazardous material is amended to reflect a $70 per ton cost for loading, transportation, and disposal, plus a $2 per ton surcharge to Nesky for the cost of maintaining its equipment on site, for a total cost of $72 per ton for disposal of all non-hazardous material, and it is further resolved that the mayor is authorized to affix a signature to the second addendum to the agreement between the village and CG Nesky materials as it is amended to this resolution. Do I have to read the addendum before we go on that day? We go off the board's had it. I mean, this, this is a summary of the material terms in the resolution. Only if you feel so inclined to read the addendum, but you're not, you're not required to do so. Um, I don't think. It doesn't really say anything different than whatever I okay. It does not say anything okay. else. So $72 a ton. Okay. For all, all materials for uh, classified as non-hazardous. Okay. Except that the one thing it does say is acceptable to the village if we run into any difficulty. He can't go out to the he can have a unilateral decision. That's part to me. So, all right. Is this this <laughs> part of the vote? Sure. <laughs> Trustee Chart. Aye. Trustee Matthews. Aye. Trustee Smith. Aye. Trustee Stewart. Aye. All right. Motion carries. Is there anything else on that we need to vote on, Dave? There's none. Okay. All right. Very good. Um, so again, it's um, took a long while to get here. But starting tomorrow, I will reach out to CJ Nesty and let them know that this was approved. We will meet this week and begin the removal of the material once again as soon as humanly possible. So 
glad that we're moving forward on this. Um, through these negotiations, we've saved a, a large, large amount of money to the repairs of Village of Ocean. And I'm sure that the Attorney General and DEC will be happy to know that we're to commence work on this again. Um, before we go into executive session to discuss litigation with the town, um, arbitration with the town, does anyone have any comments or anything else they'd like to discuss tonight? I just wanted to give a little report for a second on uh, talking with uh, the NYSEC people okay. uh, because he was very, Steve uh, Marmel is very, very cooperative. Uh, I had a good conversation with him about, you know, when we could expect the regrading and, and replanting of the areas that have been disturbed. And they've only completed, at this point, Lincoln Avenue. They have to go to Hillshop and to Wickham and to Wisner uh, in, this, in this job. And therefore, they are not able, even at, at a guesstimate, uh, they will come back and reseed and reconstruct after they've completed everything. That being said, uh, I said, look, you know, they may not call you, Steve, but they call me because I, I live on that street. And uh, people are very concerned because of the holidays. They want to you know, make sure that by hopefully by Thanksgiving, things will be reconstructed. Uh, he chose his words and, and said very uh, cooperatively that it is definitely their intent to have it been done before Thanksgiving. So I told him that we will be there to remind them 
of his promise. I also discussed with him the fact that there were so many mature trees that were destroyed, you know, not destroyed, they may survive, but they had to be dug out on three or four sides, which is a definite problem. And if we lose the trees, were they willing to help us by replanting? And he said uh, that he was of a mind that uh, when there is something that is lost due to their work, uh, that they have always been responsible in, re in replanting and refurbishing. And in fact, that was the letter that they originally sent out to the homeowners who lived there. Because I found them. So I'm going to take some photographs. And he's aware. No, I'm, I'm thinking lawyer mentality. You're right. You're absolutely right. Because uh, we have to have proof. And. Uh, that way, uh, I don't think that we're going to have an argument if we run into a problem. Hopefully. He was very cooperative. Thank you for your time yeah. spending on this. Anyone else have anything before we move to executive session? All right, in that case, I'll ask for a motion to move into executive session with no intent to do any business after we return. Second. All in favor, say aye. Aye. All right. Thank you very much, everyone. Have a good night.